Hi everybody, welcome to First Look, and no surprise, Iraq once again is sort of the focal point of our coverage tonight. Um, we're talking about the fact that there seems to be a slight disconnect uh, between the military leaders on the ground in Iraq and the soldiers who are, of course, fighting so hard to uh, try to make this a successful mission. And uh, Lara Logan went out with some U.S. soldiers and will continue to take a look at the situation in on the ground. And I believe David Martin is going to take more of sort of the, the more macrocosmic uh, perspective in terms of the positive developments that have happened and the big challenges that lie ahead vis-a-vis -vis training the Iraqi security forces, which of course will set the stage for a, a, a drawdown of U.S. forces there. So we were just talking about how to best explain that and you know, every, every day we deal with the challenge of trying to trying to ex explain a story in a limited amount of time, trying to give people context and perspective, and uh, so we're we're wrestling with how to do that uh, tonight. So we're still kind of in the process of working that out. We're also um, focusing on a story that John Lapook is doing about mapping sort of the female genome where sort of the genetic makeup of women may, may really provide some insight into uh, women and heart disease and wi women and other uh, ailments that they face. I don't know that much about that piece. Do you know a lot about that piece, the mapping of the female genome? It's an exclusive. It's an exclusive. We do know that. Chris, how about you, buddy? Uh, yeah, it's a very interesting story. It's mostly theoretical at this point, but the potential is... For, uh, to use this information to define where diseases come from, why people get them, what, why some people don't get them. And if you can figure that out, you can probably find a cure. Again, it's a little bit theoretical, but the truth is, is it has all the potential to be an amazing breakthrough. Do you know a friend of mine mapped the human genome? Isn't that weird? Craig Venter, along, you know, he did it privately when Francis Collins did it along with the uh, he was competing NIH. in a big competition yeah, to yeah, get yeah, to the yeah, end yeah. of it, and Venter won. Yeah, yeah. That's a good name drop, though, you can say. Yeah. <laughs> My friend Craig Venter. Whenever you talk about genomics, it's yeah. very impressive. At cocktail like parties. That. No, I don't. <laughs> I really don't. Friend. No, I don't. Yeah. All my friends have been my friends for like 30 years. Oh, I see. Yeah, I don't have very many new friends, except for you <laughs> and Bill. <laughs> anyway, so what else are we doing? Oh, a very, very interesting political piece tonight. You can keep working. Okay. I, I'll, I'll call you if I need you. On, on, on micro-targeting <laughs> and on um, how, how basically the political parties have become incredibly sophisticated and mm. savvy in terms of targeting potential voters by their by marketing strategies, figuring out what they buy, where they shop, where they go online. And so uh, Lee Cowan has been spending a lot of time in Ohio lately, so he's going to do a piece on that. And uh, then we have a great baseball ender about a guy who's collected more foul balls than anyone in history. How many has he collected, Bill? Thousands. Thousands. Mm -hmm. Thousands, and uh, so Steve Hartman, who's so talented, I think, and such a good writer um, in an understated way, is going to be taking a look at this guy, and then we're doing the controversy over Kenny Rogers. No, not the guy who's saying you got to know when to hold him, know when to fold him, but the pitcher for the Detroit Tigers, and there's a big controversy about some kind of substance on his hands, and that's about the extent of my baseball knowledge, even though I have to say as much as I love St. Louis and, twi uh, you know, Switzer's licorice. Joe Switzer went to UVA with me, so I like um, that, and, and I like Switzer's. But um, as much as I like St. Louis, also Boo Kistner, a friend of mine from Virginia, I, I am rooting for the Detroit Tigers, and I can I can say it here and now because Detroit, that's been a that's that city needs a break, and they need a little joy and happiness. So I say go Tigers. I think that's it for first look. Uh, we have Ariana Huffington tonight, and she's always fascinating and kind of exotic, given her accent and all that. So um, that's what's going on tonight on the CBS Evening News. So be there, be square, and we hope to see you then. Bye.